The Long Road by Wolfland. Hecron. Stephen's voice fell to barely a whisper as the rest of the cave reverberated into silence. But Garrett just smiled, looking smug. I think we've made our point. Get that weakling out of here! Roar! What? Again? Stephen's shout was drowned out by Garrett's Pokémon, and his own weakened Agron was in no condition to try to resist the fearsome roar. It was easily blown back into its ball, and again, Stephen watched helplessly as his third and final Pokémon was selected at random and dragged into the fray. Well, that couldn't have gone any better, said Garrett as he casually crossed his arms behind his head. This'll be too easy if I bring out our last teammate, so Agron, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. His voice had dropped dangerously low as he delivered the thinly veiled threat to his Pokémon. Oblivious to the high pressure building on the other half of the battlefield, Claydol spun slowly on its axis as it sized up the increasingly flustered-looking Agron standing across from it. Keeping several eyes fixed forward, the ones at the back of its head swiveled to Stephen's face to find its trainer frowning in concentration. The situation was less than ideal. Of his team of six, the three that he had been forced into using were all defensively minded. Of the three, Agron was the hardest hitter, and yet, it was almost completely exhausted from just one round against Garrett's team. It wouldn't last against any of the three opponents without support. Claydol had just begun to whistle a nervous note when Steven snapped out of his thoughts. Get ready, Claydol. I'm going to need to rely on your dodging skills to put this plan into action. Chiming in the affirmative, Claydol spun its full attention back to the battlefield and not a moment too soon. Agron had psyched itself up to avoid disappointing its trainer, and was already charging full steam ahead toward Claydol with a dragon claw prepared to strike. With a bloodthirsty roar, Agron's claw came crashing down, and Stephen tensed. But Claydol took his direction to heart, and narrowly pivoted out of harm's way, twirling gracefully around the arc of Agron's swing. Move out of range, Claydol! Set up a light screen! Quickly hovering behind the metal monster, Claydol hummed as it conjured up its psychic barrier. A thin sheen of light encompassed its body in a soft oval. Garrett gave an amused chuckle at the seemingly odd strategy. Akron didn't have any special attacks. It was a waste of a move. Whatever. Finish it, Akron! Agron roared again as it spun and bared down on Claydol, charging up another Dragon Claw. Claydol calmly floated in place, eyes swiveled towards Steven, who matched with a cool gaze of his own. With a nod, he put step two of the plan into motion. Teleport! Then use Earth Power! The air around Claydol's body shimmered for only a moment before it vanished with a sharp pop. Agron stumbled as its heavy attack swung through the space Claydol formerly had occupied. But it hadn't gone far. Claydol swiftly reappeared back at Steven's side of the battlefield, where its eyes began to glow with an inner light, and its stubby arms swiveled to point at its target. The ground rumbled beneath Agron's feet as Claydol closed all of its eyes and concentrated its power. Garrett looked on in alarm. But when the attack didn't strike, he gave a vicious sneer. Agron, chase that coward down! Stephen watched, eyes sharp, as Agron collected itself up to its full height and paused to glower at both him and his partner. The mental countdown began in his mind. Three. Agron pawed the ground as it zeroed in on Claydol's position. Stephen's hand twitched at his side. Two. Agron's head reared back in a fearsome roar. The corner of Stephen's mouth turned up ever so slightly. One. Agron had only taken two lumbering strides towards Claydol before the ground erupted beneath its feet. Eyes now wide and staring, 
Claydol's arms vibrated from the intense energy it exuded. Without any overpowering offensive capabilities, it took some time to charge up an attack of this magnitude, but the payoff was worth it. Agron was sent flying as chunks of molten earth surged from the ground, searing the exposed hide of its underbelly and leaving scorch marks all over its plate armor. Garrett looked on in shock as Agron hit the ground, writhing in agony. But his surprise quickly turned to anger, and he recalled his Pokémon with a sharp motion, even though it wasn't in danger of fainting. His voice was terse as he summoned his next Pokémon. Crawdont, time to finish what someone else couldn't! Crabhammer! But Steven was already on to Phase 3. Claydol, reflect! Another shimmering barrier appeared in front of the ground type, just in time for it to shudder in protest as Grodon's claw came down in a vicious arc. The barrier held, but the raw power of Grodon's blow still left Claydol reeling. <clears throat> that was lucky, growled Garrett as he scowled at the still standing Claydol. But no matter how many defensive walls you raise, you won't stop this move! His face twisted into a wicked snarl. Guillotine! Steven's stomach flipped at the one-word command, and he gave a panic shout. Claydol, dodge! But Crawdont was too fast. Its tail snapped against the ground, and in one powerful jump, it latched onto Claydol's body with its hind legs. Claydol wheeled about, screeching in dismay and flailing its arms in an effort to dislodge its foe. But Crawdont's grip was too tight. The water type raised both pincers high, and in a flash, it brought them across Claydol's neck. Claydol's frantic waving ceased as it hovered in the air for a moment longer before toppling to the ground, unmoving. Wordlessly, Steven raised an unsteady hand and recalled his fallen Pokémon. His gaze fixated on the ball in his hand, and he issued silent word of thanks that the ruthless attack had not resulted in anything worse than a one-hit knockout. The silence was broken as Crawdont gave a chattering cackle of victory, and Steven's eyes flashed in anger. Choose the opponent's team for them, and then finish them all off with a dangerous knockout technique. Am I on the mark? The last remaining evidence of Garrett's cheerful disposition vanished at Stephen's cold words. Guillotine's not an outlawed move. It's a legal strategy. I'm not questioning the legality of it. You're a strong trainer, just not one I can respect. Garrett snorted. <laughs> Respect's got nothing to do with it. You either win, or you don't. The how doesn't matter. But Stephen was tired of talking, and as Cradilly materialized on the battlefield, she quickly picked up on her trainer's displeasure, and glowered at her opponent. Get ready, Cradilly. You know the drill, Crawdont. With a clack of its claws, Crawdont sprang into action. But it didn't rush straight in. Instead, it began to move in circles around Cradilly, who twisted and craned her neck to follow its rapid movements. Stay calm! Stephen shouted to his anxious partner. Remember, it has to come to you! At her trainer's words, Cradilly visibly calmed down, and she centered her gaze, letting her tentacles fan out in a wary net around her head. But as her head swiveled to face forward, Crawdont seized its chance. Pincers flashed out from directly behind Cradilly, and Stephen tried to shout a warning. But before he could utter a word, Crawdont halted mid-jump. It had brushed against one of Cradilly's tentacles in its leap, and just the slight touch had triggered her defenses. Without so much as turning her head, her tendrils had wrapped tightly around Crawdont's pincers, pinching them shut. It writhed in Cradilly's grasp, but it was thoroughly trapped. With a mighty heave, Cradilly slung the helpless Crawdont over her head, body slamming it onto the cavern floor. Stephen didn't even have to call his next command, because Cradilly had already begun to siphon the stunned Crawdont's energy with a Giga Drain. 
the water type was no match for the super effective move, and it fainted without much struggle. Garrett cursed as he begrudgingly recalled Prodot. Explow took its place, and he muttered, Let's see if maybe you won't screw this up. <laughs>